What's going on everybody? Welcome to part 46 of my playthrough for Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Oh yes! Check that out! That looks good. That right there, that is all our hard work paid off. And it is day one of summer. Man, I love summer. Summer is, I think, I think it's my favorite season. I know I've talked about this before because it comes up a lot in a game where seasons are very important, but... Oh, just check that out. I bet everything here is ready to be picked, right? Oh, just about. Watermelon's growing, soon to be harvested. But yeah, everything else, like, just beautiful. I mean, it's it's awesome. So, uh, I, I bet the rest of the watermelons will be done by today. I don't think I've said it, but I think watermelons are one of my favorite looking fruits. Like, they just, like, if you ever actually stared at a watermelon, I don't know. Maybe I sound crazy, maybe someone's like, yeah, I totally know what you mean. <laughs> Please, if you know what you mean, let me know, because makes me feel a little less uh, crazy, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, watermelons, they look they look pretty awesome. But uh, just check this out, this is so great. Not, nothing better than getting up first thing in the morning this game and seeing all your crops are ready to be harvested. It is a really big payoff. I think this game does a good job of that. We were talking about life lessons in the last episode, right? So, more life lessons, life, life lessons of uh, stuff being like hard work being paid off. I decided to do back-to-back -back days, which I don't. Well, I guess I've done a couple times, but I don't usually do just because it's sort of a little bit of a. Oh, really? The darker ones are not harvestable. The lighter ones are harvestable, huh? I thought it was when they get darker, they're more. They are ready to be harvested. But yeah, just about everything here is good to go. I'm sure by the end of the day. Everything I planted here is good to go to the next season. Some things aren't like that. I'm trying to think. I know I know sweet potatoes are fall only, so those are something you really gotta... If you don't get them by the end of the season. Because uh, I have had that happen where I planted something late in the season. Or occasionally it just doesn't grow in time. And it is it is really sad when you have like... Imagine if all this rotted. You know what I mean? If all this wilted and I didn't harvest it because it was a day late. That's not a good feeling. So that also kind of teaches you to kind of be uh, ready for things, you know what I mean? Like, uh, be prepared, um, don't procrastinate, stuff like that. More life lessons, good stuff. I should be a teacher or something. Really? Really, chocolate milk? Really? These cows, I swear. I treat them too good. Just, just too good. I wonder, if, can, do you think cows can get spoiled? I mean... Like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes, like, dogs and cats do get spoiled. Just, like, the same way a human can get spoiled. Do you think cows can get spoiled? I'm wondering. Like, if you treated them too good, do you think they could get spoiled? Huh. That, that's interesting. Does anyone have cows? I'm just, I'm wondering. I know, it's not like a pet you would keep, but does anyone live on a farm? There was a farm not far from here that one of my friends grew up with, um, when I was a kid. They don't really have cows anymore. But, uh... They had cows, and I don't know, they didn't seem very... I never really got too close to any of them, but I'm just saying, the cows I have seen, they're just kind of... Like, chillax animals, really. I think they're depicted a little, uh... Bright and cheerful here in this game. Which, you know, you'd you think they would be, but... <laughs> Discord, what are you doing? What are you doing, Discord? <laughs> I'm, I'm disappointed. Did no, did no one get the uh, reference with Discord's name? If you did, and you just didn't want to tell me, that's fine, but... You're missing out on the internet points. I think someone has successfully guessed all of the other names here that I've given every other animal in this barn. Discord is kind of new, though. And a name like Spot isn't really uh, meant to be... Is it raining outside? It is! I love how you can hear that from inside, for one, but... Darn, that stinks. I was going to move everyone outside and give everyone a wash. Like, even Mona needs it. Aw, oh, man. Alright. And I know I forgot to give Mona good fodder again. That completely slipped my mind till just now. But we will do that. I think... I don't know how many times you got to give it to her, but I will start giving it to her, and I'll keep count of, like, how many times she's eaten it, and then I'll let you guys know. Also, someone did let me know last time that, uh... I think you need to keep putting fertilizer on, uh, the crops to make them work better. So I'm going to keep doing that, especially on the trees. The trees are like a long-term investment. They don't go away. Like, they continue to cycle. I don't know if I mentioned that, just in case you never used trees before. But uh, crops last a season, and then you either, you either harvest them or they will. Trees 
last indefinitely. Like, they're not going to go away. Through all the seasons, they will continue to grow and stay there. Only certain seasons do they give you fruit, but they don't, they're not going to go away and they won't will. So I think I'll, I'll get some more fertilizer and put some more. I think I used it on this one. Do I even have any more amulet? Check real quick. I have a lot in my inventory at the moment. Good fodder. No, I don't think I do. But uh, I will continue to put it on there. I'll try to keep count of that too. See if that works out better than just putting one on there. Which does make sense actually. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, I, I just haven't eaten 24 hours. I don't think I could ever do that in real life. I mean, it's obviously easy to forget in a game, but in real life, I I don't overeat, but I usually eat like just the right amount. I don't think I've ever gone, maybe I've gone 24 hours without eating. I don't think so, though. Probably had like goldfish or something at one point. <laughs> because when in doubt, goldfish. I actually don't have any goldfish at the moment. I should get some pizza Pringles. <laughs> going way off topic now. This is what food does to me. We're going to go way, way off topic. But no, like, I, I don't know. I, I'm sure I must have mentioned in this game before. Like, certain games I associate, like, smells or foods with. I, it's kind of, like, some people, like, associate... I think I have brought this up. Like, summer with the smell of cut grass. You know what I mean? Like, the lawn being mown. I, like, in certain games I associate... Certain, we didn't milk uh, Discord. Certain games we, uh... I, not, not we, though I like to include you guys whenever I can. But in certain games, like this one in particular, like Pizza Pringles, that's that's my food for this game. Don't ask me why exactly, I'm sure I ate it at one point while playing it, but it just it just is. So we got another day or two for, uh, I wonder if we, we couldn't get Discord better milk. No, I'm, I'm almost certain the goats only give a certain type of milk, like not, not A, B, or any kind of quality. Don't go back to sleep. The trick usually I try to do when they're sleeping, because if you milk them while they're sleeping, they're going to get upset. Which, I'm not sure even makes a difference on a goat, because like I said, it only, the one type of milk, just goat milk. There's no A, B, or C for goat milk. But I'm just, uh, usually when they're sleeping, I try to like move them around in a circle, because otherwise they, it upsets them, and I know it does uh, lower their heart level, friendship level. There's got to be a better term for that. Does anyone... <laughs> Anyone got any suggestions for that? Maybe there's an official term I'm unaware of. Okay, I just have to get those till the end of the day. They're good. Uh, today is day one of summer, so I do want to get some more stuff planted. Let me just... I think I need to go in here real quick. Let me see what seeds I have. Okay, so I grabbed some... Melon, turnip, and I think we're going to throw down some more tomatoes and watermelon as well. Since we, uh, we have quite a few seeds for those. And we've got the space over here. Oh good, some of these are already, like, in that time it took me to go get seeds, like, the majority of these became ready to be picked. Excellent. I think the strawberries look awesome. Like, even if you, like, look up, I love how you can look up close, but the strawberries look pretty good. E actually, the detail to the watermelon, that's my point, like, we can actually see them pretty good. I don't know, like, I work in a grocery store, so I see, you know, fruits and stuff every day, and I don't know, the watermelon just looks awesome. So... Something about watermelon. And I, the funny thing is, I don't even like watermelon. It's not one of my particular, like, I won't go out of my way to get watermelon. Like, if it's right there, you know what I mean? I'll cut up and ready to eat. I'll be like, yeah, I'll eat one. But it's, uh, not even something I really like. I guess I like watermelon flavored things, like artificially flavored, but actual watermelon isn't one of my favorite things. I think, uh, cherries are probably my favorite fruit. Strawberries are really good too, though. Okay, let's, uh, light hoe this up. <laughs> That's a thing. I will make it a thing. And so, yeah, I'm still working on getting the other tools. Like I said, I'm having a little bit of trouble with Gallon. I keep catching Ramona at bad times. Ramana. Luckily, I don't, I'm not, well, I guess I, I'm thinking now, I'm like, I'm not going to plant that much, but we do kind of have a lot of seeds. So, I'm going to go one at a time here and plant this. <laughs> okay, so that took a little while. <laughs> the advantage to doing this right now, though, was it's raining, so that was really nice. So everything right here that I just planted, luckily I don't have to water, because that would have taken double the amount of time. But we've got uh, two fields, two rows here of turnips, some turnips here. Got tomatoes here, tomatoes there, a couple of watermelon in the middle, and uh, melons right here, which we don't have many of at all at the moment, so... 
at least one row of those. And the rain is finally just starting to let up. I was really hoping these would be ready by the end of the day, but they're not quite because I have exactly... I think I have just amount... I have two more tomatoes as well, yeah. So I could have fit uh, a couple more tomato and turn up here, but I'll wait for those to be harvested tomorrow, I guess? I don't know what took... See what I mean? Like, sometimes these take... These were planted at the exact same time as all the other ones, watered exactly the same way. So I'm not sure why they took extra long exactly. Wow, that was perfect timing. Like, it's been raining the whole time I've been working out in the field here, but... There we go. That took a little while. It's The sun's gone down. That'd be kind of nice, though, right? If it kind of broke out and turned nice overnight. I mean, as night was coming. I don't know. I think this is a pretty nice place to be. It'd be a really good feeling, too. Really, girls? Girls. My gosh. Tomorrow, I am washing you. I am washing all of you. Let me, uh... Move them all back into their positions so I can give Mona some good fodder. I think the cows always eat out of the right one or the bottom one first, depending on how you look at this. The We'll say the bottom one right here. So if I just keep putting the good fodder in there, then I'll know she'll consistently be eating the good fodder. So let me grab the good fodder. And it actually kind of looks funny, I think. Like, I don't know, it almost looks like pudding or something, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> as, as opposed to the regular hay. But, uh, okay, everyone's good here tonight. Uh, I guess I'll put some more in these. But other than that, we got all the seeds planted. I didn't go anywhere or do anything today except plant the seeds, which that, that's kind of how it goes. When you have a field that big, plan on uh, staying there for a good three to four hours in a day, especially the first day when you want to put things down. You're going to be there all day. That's that's usually how it starts out for me like this. But like I said, in the future, uh, for fall, I'm mostly just going to get a lot of sweet potatoes out there because it's the only season for sweet potatoes. So I'll probably only use like two, maybe three rows of sweet potatoes and then only use uh, one more row. And I won't use this uh, fifth row after that. Because there's a little less stuff in fall and winter to grow. And honestly, I just, I don't want to keep having to uh, consistently be watering five fields. Because like I said, it takes no less than three hours. Alright, now before I go to sleep, let's see if my eggs are in there. And I'll put some uh, fertilizer on those trees again. Where are my eggs, girls? Thank you. And I think we'll actually continue this episode into tomorrow after I do this. I'll take a... I'll head to bed and then I'll just continue this episode. I haven't really done that before, but there's no reason not to. I think... Really, guys? <laughs> uh, it kind of will work out better sometimes doing it this way as opposed to just having the... I mean, I like having episodes as like a day-to-day -day basis because it makes it feel more uh, real almost in a sense, I think. But it's, uh, it's just as well to do it this way. So let me... Do I not have... Okay, I'll have to get that before I go to bed. But let's just throw some fertilizer on these two. And if this works out, I may use fertilizer on future crops to make them A quality, because then when you put them into the seed maker, they come out as an A quality seed. I believe. I'm not sure on that, but I believe that's how it works. Like I said, I don't know that much about crops, so... Advice is appreciated. There we go, and fertilizer. Okay, it doesn't actually list with uh, trees, which I didn't actually realize that before, but we'll have to see. When they when they grow up and they give us food, that's how we'll know. Alright, so first thing I think we should do is drop some milk and eggs in the crate there. Because we got... I'm, I think I'm going to them all. Four eggs, we got... I'm gonna put. Uh, I keep. I always like to save one milk because it semi becomes valuable when your cow stops giving milk. Uh, I'll keep the goat's milk. Put the fertilized egg in. Keep the golden egg. That's always better to sell the van. I don't think we put anything in there the other day, so we shouldn't. Oh yeah, we got something. Oh, right. Oh, that's awesome. So how's my money looking right now? Not too bad. It's coming along. Like I said, I want to save it for that uh, food processing room. So that is uh, on my list of big projects. I'm saving most of these. Let's see, I'm going to put... I'll put uh, a couple tomatoes in here. Watermelon, I'll put just a few, because I want to put most of them into the seed makers to get them right back. Put two of those in there, and I want to put some in my fridge too to keep for cooking, because we will go back to do more cooking, like I said, in the future. Uh, I think other than that... Well, I have a lot of those now put a couple in here. Even though there's no reason, like I said in the past, there's no reason to deposit things into 
the food storage or your fridge or anywhere because your run sack has so much space, it is ridiculous. I don't think it's possible to run out of space in the run sack. But I like to do things, they, they, they kind of put it there so I like to kind of use it, you know what I mean? This is kind of a game, I would say it's the kind of game that you need to use your imagination for, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's the kind of game, wow, everyone needs a wash, huh? Every single one of you. Oh good, and they have, uh, they're ready to be shearing, I believe is the term. What is the term for that? Uh, it's not shave, right? I think it's sheared. Sheared? I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. Someone will, no doubt, correct me. Uh, oh, wow, she ate both. Okay, that's weird, actually. Uh, let me put some more good fodder in there for her. But that's actually really weird, so I'm going to fill up both. I don't think that that would have changed her consistency or uh, quality of milk. But let's check real quick. Hey, Mona. I love you, too. And we get a quality. So, I don't, you know, I don't think, uh, someone can let me know if it's possible to get to S quality without using good fodder. Like, can you love your cow and take care of your cow so well that she'll give you S quality milk, or do you have to use good fodder? I'm just wondering if, if you use good fodder just to easily do it by giving her enough, or will it just do it over time? Oh, wow, I also got to cut this field. Roman, we've got a new friend. Come quickly. Come here. Oh boy. Hey buddy. I have the most original names ever. I wonder if you can legally name someone that. Circle thingy, cross, star, <laughs> star filled in, star unfilled in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that would be an interesting name. I would never do that to, if I ever have children, which I don't necessarily ever plan to, but if I, hey, if I ever do have children, I would not give them such a stupid name. <laughs> like some parents just give their children very, very stupid names. I would just not do that to my children. Like, I like my name a lot. I would not give my child a name they would dislike, hopefully. Maybe they'd like Star, filled in Star, not filled in. I guess when you're young, you might like that name. Um, brush, okay. Everyone is getting washed today. So, uh, I think that's actually probably gonna do it for today. I don't want this to go on too long, because this could easily go on for very long. But, uh, yeah, the, the crops are in. Actually, let me go check on the watermelon before I start watering everything. I actually got, oh good, they're ready to go. So I'll throw down the uh, tomato and turnip seeds I have left in that spot. And I gotta water all this. Uh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll, um, like I said, I'll put those down. I'll keep track of the good fodder and the fertilizer I'm using to upgrade the quality of milk. And the tree we won't know for a while, but the quality of milk will know pretty soon. And I'll be cutting down uh, the majority of this field, hopefully tomorrow, either tomorrow or the next day, spring, uh, summer day, three or four. But for today, I'm just going to finish washing all these guys off. I'm going to go sell a few things if I can and uh, catch up on some of the people, see if anyone has some things they want to give me. Gallon. But uh, yeah, otherwise, that's going to be it for me. I thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you later.